Hello students, I am Dr. Tanamay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today's MCQ is in front of you. So I request you please pause the video and write your answer in the comment box and definitely I shall give answer after some time. I believe you have done. Let's start. So the reaction of this molecule with zinc, this molecule has a name. It names as CFC or chlorofluorocarbon. This is C2 species. So from this thing you can understand it's an elimination reaction happened and how this happens. Let's learn. So first step what happens zinc releases two electron and produces zinc 2 plus and these two electron act as reducing agent. So question which bond will be reduced obviously more polar bond or more reactive bond is expected to reduce. There are three types of bond available here one is CC one is CCL and one is C if so now if you look little carefully that both CCL and CF are polar and heteroatom but CCL bond is more weaker better to say why because chlorine belongs to third uh, row and fluorine belongs to second row consequently since carbon belongs to the second row element so in case of CF bond the orbital overlap is very good consequently CF bond is considered one of the strongest covalent bond. So uh, in this case you can understand the CCL will be reduced. Second thing after reduction you will understand that Cl minus will be produced and this Cl minus is a better leaving group. Now in this way there are two possible chances that these two electron either reduce this CCL bond means red one or it can reduce this blue one means in blue case there are two fluorine attached to the same carbon and in red case they are is 2 chlorine and 1 fluorine. This is a difference. Now it can generate both anion and these both anion can result in elimination reaction of halide and produce the final alkene. Now in this case you can see neighboring carbon with respect to this negative charge have both chloride and fluoride. Question who will leave? Obviously chlorine will leave because the chloride is better leaving group compared to the fluoride. So it leaves and ultimately it will produce alkene. Similar story is for this one also it will push this leaves and in this case you can see there are three fluorine atom. So there is no issue of cis and trans. Now a simple question come in your mind that sir for example let us consider this is A or this is B. Sir which will which do I think that will be produced more? this thing you can consider by stability of the corresponding carbon ion and this thing you can see the acidity of chloroform means pk is 15.7 whereas the pk of fluoroform is 25 to 28 now we will think that sir fluorine is more electronegative so in this case we can expect that chf3 should be more stable yes you can expect but it does not the actual picture. Why? Because after deprotonation the conjugate base in this case relatively less stable and acidity is actually reflection of the stability of conjugate base. You can understand here there are three fluorine and there is one negative charge means this two paired of electron and since fluorine has three lone pair of electrons so there is a severe lone pair lone pair repulsion between the negative charge on carbon and fluorine and CF bond is shorter so this repulsion is more. In contrast if you compare this CCLCL so first of all bond distance more and second is that this chlorine has energetically accessible vacant D orbital which can accommodate the electron density and help to delocalize the electron density to some extent. So that is why CCL uh, the corresponding carbon ion of CCL3 minus means the conjugate base of chloroform is more stable that is why you can see this the pKa value is relatively less 15.7. So consequently where the number of chlorine is more stabilization is more. In structure A the carbon ion is attached to one chlorine one fluorine here chlorine is there but in structure B the carbon ion is attached to two fluorine. So from this understanding we can say the contribution of this anionic intermediate is expected to be more. By the way I am not saying this is the pathway both formation possible I have just give you a logical explanation in which case the chance is more for your query. So the answer of this question 3 fluorine 1 chlorine double bond. So answer is 3 fluorine 
one chlorine so answer b is the right answer now if this question appear in your exam how can you solve within less than 30 seconds first of all you need to understand that zinc releases two electron and these two electron will act as a reducing agent and another information cf bond is more stronger compared to ccl so ccl will break and there are two carbon is bearing CLCL. So consequently elimination will happen actually in this case dehydroelimination, the de, sorry dehalogenation in both case and ultimately it will produce in alkene since fluorine chloride is good living group. So it will leave from both carbon and both carbon bears chlorine. So it will produce alkene ultimately which in that case two Cl minus will be eliminated. So one side one Cl will remain another side no Cl will remain. So this is the answer. I believe it's an easy question, but let's sticky. So what you have learned today that the reaction is an this reaction is an example of reductive elimination. Why? Because zinc two plus got oxidized and it reduces the carbon chlorine bond. CF bond is one of the strongest covalent bond. Cl minus or chloride is better living group than fluoride and weaker bond prefers to break faster. So this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. If possible, please visit another my channel climate and chemistry where I upload global warming and chem this climate change related videos. Thank you again. See you in my next video. Bye bye.